Hello guys, Cryptograms here. Welcome back to another Unity Anti-Myer Dimensions video. This is episode 5, and today we're going to be working on our Dimension Galaxies. And I think I also want to work on some other improvements in this video. So let's check out what we have so far. So we have our tick speed, we have our dimension shift, and we have all this going on. Also, as I'm exp actually, yeah, I don't really need to go through this all because that defeats the purpose or that makes the video longer but anyways i know it's been a really long time since i've uploaded this video i've been really busy with crypto clickers and other stuff and yeah so i need to get that stuff out of the way since this is like an extra series and yeah we're back so if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel if you're new and turn on those notifications if you want to get notified for future videos and live streams comment all your feedback compliments questions all that good stuff below and let's hop into it okay so first of all we need to open up anti matter dimensions we need to learn what these do so i'm going to open that up and i'm going to open up my note documents so we can observe i forgot where i put this file oh hello arm barts welcome back um <laughs> i think it's oh man where'd it go 80 serious notes okay so while you're waiting nothing happened yeah i know i'm where okay so we don't have any notes Okay, so we need to explain what dimensional... I'm not an idiot. Okay, so, sorry about that. Let's, okay. Uh, so, dimen or it's antimatter galaxies, sorry. Antimatter galaxies is what they're called. Okay, so the initial cost is 80 dimension, or 8 dimensions, so... In its cost, and I know it grows at a constant rate, so we can we can just put that um, there. Dimensions, yeah, growth. We can put growth in here. Okay, so I don't really feel like getting back all the way there. So let's let's use my magical commands. Okay, so if we get eighty, it resets everything above. Right? We obviously, if you play this game, you should know that by now. Everything above. Okay, even tick speed and dimensional sacrifice. Now, does dimensional sacrifice reset on with this? So I'm going to export the save real quick because I don't want to get back. All right, so let's do an antimatter galaxy and let's see what this does. Okay, so it looks like we're getting a, an extra multiplier, but I'm guessing this is from achievements. Yeah, right here. Okay, so let's see. What does a galaxy even do? It gives us a... a Oh, it tick speed boost. I see. Okay. We don't have our tick speed here anymore. Oh, there we go. So now this increases the interval by 12 or by 1%. So I am assuming that's all it does because when we... Yeah, it's only giving us times two. Okay, so we lose all of our progress, but we get a tick speed boost. So that should that should be pretty easy since we have an equation for that. And I'm going to set that user interface and load my script. I'll be right back. Okay, cool. So I have made the interface, which is just, you know, right below it, just like what we have in our, in the real game. Also, before this is just completely popped in my mind, I will try to make a, a news ticker here. Now, I'm not really sure how this animation works, but I'll, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Why not? I mean, I think that would be a cool aesthetic to add, but we'll see. Okay, so we opened up our script, wherever it is, right here. And I think I do dimension boost inside dimensions. Uh, yeah, because I do this. Uh, wait, is it in game controller? No, nope, it's not. Okay. So tick speed is what I wanted to show you right here. So uh, the tick speed, oh, the tick speed right here. So you see this is 0 0.89, right? If you remember from the last video, if you do 1 minus uh, 0 0.89, this will equal 0 0.11. Right, so what we're gonna do is that I don't know if this is actually one percent or not. I'll have to do another um, galaxy just to test that theory. But if we just subtract it by zero point one, zero one, then we add that percent. Okay, we can also just multiply this by a hundred and oops, not like that, with parentheses like that. Okay. So let's let's get another one of these going. Okay, so now we need a hundred eighty. Oh, that seems a lot cheaper. Here, what if we buy some of this? So now this should be per thirteen percent, right? Oh man, I keep having, I keep hating, hating to do. Oh yeah. Oh, it's fourteen percent now. 
Interesting, interesting. And this requires 280 dimensions. I don't believe we will have... I don't think we can do that. I don't know the equation. But that might be something I'm going to have to do. <clears throat> or look up. Again, I hate having to look up the equations because I feel like that just like makes, makes it a little less challenging. I mean, making the game itself is not challenging, but it's it's just a lot of prepping and fixing bugs. Okay, well, let's try this again. Again, I don't think I can afford that. <laughs> so that's going to be a little annoying. Can we at least maybe go close to infinity? I don't think so. Oh, man, that sucks. Well, I could unlock break infinity and find out what happens there, but I really think that I'm just going to look it up. So according to this article, it says that disk speed reduction is increased by 0.0x or 1x for one galaxy, two galaxies, and so on. So again, these equations look fairly different, but it doesn't matter. The time, the, the math in my case is right, because it's the same thing. But we need to figure out how they get this, okay? So one way to do it is by, again, subtracting these two together. And it looks like it multiplies by 1.01 times, okay? Uh, okay, let's see here. Now, I just need to find a variable in order to see what I need to subtract from. So if we do it without it, what do we get? 0 0.11, right? <clears throat> so if we multiply this by that, we just need to figure out how they get to that 14%. And I, this honestly, this explanation is not very clear because I don't understand all of the above will happen this much. One divided by one minus 0 0.11. Okay, so that's a little different from mine, but it has the 11% here, okay? You see how my, like, I don't know. That just doesn't make sense. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't, I, again, I don't know. I'm guessing this is just, I don't know. <laughs> uh, a good way, I guess we can try, is by doing this ourselves. We just multiply it like this, and we subtract. And I don't, mm, okay, I see. So, now, if we divide 1,000 by 0 0.89, we get the same number here we get from here, okay? So our equation matches, that's good. We just need to find out how it gets to this. So I don't know what this means right here. Is increased by zero? I don't know what that means though, that's the thing. Um, I'll have to, I might have to do another, some research or maybe ask like the antimatter dimensions chat for this because like what is it, I don't know what this means. Because this is less than that, for sure. And I don't think it's multiplied by that. I mean, we can try. I don't think that's the case. That wouldn't make any sense. Yeah, that yeah, that doesn't make any sense. The only thing I can think of is that what it means is that it's increasing by 1%. But that, 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 again, that doesn't make any sense because two galaxies is 13%. So that looks like, or 14%, right? Unless it's like 13.5 and it's just rounded. Okay. Now, so we need to find this reduction here. So we knew the second one. Uh, let's actually add this to our notes before we forget. So we have that, and that equals uh, whatever this number is right here. And we round it up to 4. Okay. And now let's say we subtract percent from it. So we just do 1,000 times 0 0.88 instead. Now our tick speed is just a slightly less. Okay. But again, this is just an estimate. So I'm it's probably not even correct. Okay. So now we divide these two together and we get this number right here. And we round it. Or truncate it in this case. Um so let's see, do our numbers kind of match up? I don't know. So I, the thing is, I just don't know what this inter what this amount is being increased by. Okay, so I'm gonna do some more research. I'll let you guys know what I figure out. Okay, cool. So looks like I was chatting with the 
at them for a bit. So it looks like this guy here, he kind of directed me to look at the code and he also suggested that it's also based on if the galaxies are less than three, okay? So also he showed me this if statement, which I also found here. So cool, we can find this. Um, well, it's not exactly the galaxies, but um, if the player uh, if the player galaxy is equal to zero, then we have a space multiplier. So that's good. I was doing the right thing. Sorry, hiccup. So yeah, I was doing the correct thing here. I have the correct multiplier, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so at least I know I did one thing right. Um, so yeah, I am looking at the code. It looks way too uh, complicated, so I'm going to try not to dive too deep into it. But it looks like... Uh, so this is also the greater than three. So I noted this equation too, because I, this is obviously, this is going to be very difficult to come up with. So, and let's see, what else did he say? Yeah, so pretty much it's a much simpler equation. So if galaxy is equal to zero, then it's 11%, right? Otherwise it is, um, it's adding by two if the galaxy is less than three. Okay, so that means the third galaxy, well, this is less than three, right? So this is only for zero, one, and two, okay? So it looks like, uh, looks like they aren't needing me anymore. So cool. Let's hop back into this. So I have noted these. All right. So we need to figure out how to get this percent thing to work. So we know by default the multiplier is 0 0.89, which is also just... Um, 1 minus 0 0.11. Uh, so we can just write that down here. And we can also see this in the equation in the guide here. So, uh, or something like that. Yeah, like that. Okay. So now what we do here is that we want to, uh, we, we know that the percents are 11, 12, 14, and 16, oh, actually not 16, so, but just for margin of error, we're gonna do 16%. So I was actually correct on this part, so that's good. Someone said it was 12.5, 12, 12 but that's not true, I guess. So we know that these are the correct percentages, and it looks like our math somewhat lines up except for 40%, so I don't know what happened there, but that, that I think that's incorrect. That might be something wrong with the guide. Um, so we can simply just start doing math. So we have our 11% already, um, uh, we have 0.88 for 0 minus 0 0.12 and so on, 16. And obviously this is pretty easy to make an equation with. So we have 6 and 4, 84. Cool, so here are all of our multipliers here. So now let's make an equation. So we have our base, which is 0 0.89, and all we gotta do is subtract it by, uh, we're gonna have to use a question mark operator. So we need to determine if the galaxies is equal to zero. If it is, then we're just gonna subtract it by a zero. We're just gonna keep it as 11. Um, actually, do you know what? I The base equation is 0, 0.88, right? Let's do that. So 0, 0.88, and basically, if we have zero galaxies, we need to set this to back to 11%. So we are going to subtract it by 0 point, so we're going to add 0 0.01 to it, okay? So we do that by doing negative 0 0.01 because we are subtracting here. Otherwise, we need to run this off of an equation, and this is where we uh, do galaxies, basically just galaxies times 0 0.02, okay? It's a pretty simple equation. Let's save this document and let's try to implement it. Um, we don't have our galaxies in the data yet, so let's add this to ours. So we're going to do public big double. Again, this can probably be shorter, like maybe uh, an int. But I want to be safe because I forgot how big um, this number could go. So if we need to change this variable, we can do that. But we're just going to keep it as antimatter galaxies as a big double. Okay, and now in our constructor, we need to set this to zero. So we have our, an equation here that we need to implement. Oh shit, my dog's barking. Okay, so let's copy this here. Okay, so uh, we need to access these two. Yeah. Cool, it looks like our equation will work just fine. 
Um, yeah. So if this is one, then it's gonna subtract it by that much. Uh, no. Right. Okay. So when it's one, we need to have it as zero point eighty eight. I think that's right. Yeah. So we need to subtract this by one. Ugh, Google Play. <laughs> Google Play is a mess. Sorry. Um, I'm just having issues with them. <laughs> okay, so now if we have, yeah, this should be perfect. Because now what it'll do is that it will just kind of, I mean, this is not a friendly equation, obviously. This could probably be truncated to something a lot easier to look at and something a little more pleasing. But this will be fine. It's not the end of the world. Just at least we know that it will work. And we can try it too. So we also have this 11% here. Where is that? It's somewhere in here. Uh, I think it's right in this string right here. No? Is it in the dimensions? Where is our 11%? Oh, I guess we have to add a text for that. So let's add a public TMP text, a text message pro text, and this will be our text speed reduction text. Cool. And this will say, I don't feel like opening the game because it's going to have to load. You know what? Screw it. It's fine. <laughs> um, and all of this is updating every frame, so that's not good. So what I'm going to do in a future optimization video is that I can move the stuff like text speed reduction text. I can move it to the start method, and I can do it whenever I you know, have to increase it, which is obviously when we do a galaxy. So that only needs to be run just a few times pre-infinity, right? So that's very good, just things to know you can do. So I'm going to create this text here, and I'm going to uh, add a note or a to-do here. I don't know about Visual Studio, but in Rider, you can add a to-do, and it highlights it, and it's really nice. So you can so it catches your attention. So I'm going to... Uh, add this to a to-do list, which is move this to the start method, and whenever you do a antimatter galaxy, it's the same thing with the tick speed too, right? It's just some other things that we are eventually gonna have to move. Well, okay, I was like, what happened there? I was like, why is it? Why does it look really odd? <laughs> okay, and this is gonna equal to. Uh, reduce the tick interval by 11%. Okay, reduce the tick interval by blank percent. Okay, and then we'll put curly braces in here. And basically our equations right here, all said and done. And we see subtract it by one, put it and multiply this by 100. Okay, so let's test if this works. So let's put this in here. And let's just, I don't know, we can get rid of all this. Cool. Oh, right there. Cool. So now I'll say 12%, 11%. Oh, yeah, 11, 12, 14, 16. Awesome. So this is fine here. I'm going to also add an F0 because we, we need to see one decimal just in case. Okay, so now we need to do this uh, dimensional galaxy here, and this is going to be right below our dimensional shift, or, yeah, just to keep it organized. To our, yeah, antimatter galaxy, hashtag end region, okay. And we can simply copy and paste these methods. Uh, this dimension shift cost can come with us too, and we will go into this galaxy region. Okay, so now we're going to buy a uh, buy antimatter dimension galaxy. Make sure you change your labels. And this going to be a galaxy reset. Basically it's going to basically it's going to be the same as a shift reset. So we're going to call a shift reset. And we're also going to reset some other stuff. Um it looks like we forgot to Add something with our shift reset, which is the data dot sacrifice boost. So we're gonna set that equal to one. I believe that's all we need to add. Is there? Is that it? Oh, the highest first dimensions. We also need to get rid of that. Yeah, we set that to zero. Okay, so I forgot that. So make sure. Well, hopefully you got that. <laughs> 
if you're following along and doing this with me. And we can close this dimension shift. Okay, so this cost thing I don't need to do for now. Uh, let's just ignore that. And let's have this shift reset. So what it also does is that it resets our dimension shifts too. And we can just take data dot, oh, wrong script. Data dot dimension shifts. And we're gonna set that equal to zero. And I think, I don't think we need to do anything else. I'm afraid that we are forgetting something. Yeah, I don't think so. If we, well, I mean, again, we'll test it. So I need to add keybinds. I think I'm going to do that after this episode because it's going to be very annoying to test when I have to do that. Or just add like a debug and just, I don't know. Okay. I'm trying to think of, the, is there absolutely anything else I need to do? Reset all previous progress. I think we have it. We have the sacrifice. We have the dimension shifts. And we just need to, yeah, we'll call this galaxy reset here. And add to our antimatter galaxies. And we need a cost. Where is this cost? Okay. Antimatter dimensions cost. Cool. Also, I think this was, yeah, this was, this right here doesn't, we can get rid of this. Now, why was this happening? Is because we need to shift our cost to the certain dimension. So remember, originally it was fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and then finally eighth. So we just need to change that. Okay. And I don't know the cost equation yet. We will have to experiment. Actually, we already, we've already done that. We've already done that. We've already done one. So it goes from 80 to 150 to 200, I believe, is what we saw. So it goes from 150 to 200, I think. What happens if I, can I change how many galaxies I have? I doubt it, but we'll give it a shot. Oh, it's 140. Okay. So the change from 80 to 140 is 60. So it looks like it's increasing by a constant. Okay. And let's back this up uh, by going to Antimatter Galaxy. The cost. Um, where N is re reduced to 71 infinity upgrade. Okay, M is, def uh, M is 60 by default and 52 with relevant time study. So we don't need, we can ignore that. So basically it increases by 60. That's a very simple equation. It's very nice. Okay, so we can get rid of this shift thing because we don't need that. Oh, we might need the actual shift though. Uh, we can probably get rid of this method in general. Yeah. Okay. So if dimension counts, and we already know it's seven, right? Is that how we check it? Yeah. Okay. So, and the cost is equal to game.data. Uh, antimatter galaxies times 60, I think. Uh, times 60 plus 80. Yeah. And I don't think we need parentheses. I, I suck at the parentheses. I don't think we do. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. I just double check because I feel like I do. And I think that's it. Honestly, it's really that simple. There's not that much we needed to do here. We just need to figure out that tick speed equation. But the galaxy itself is really easy since we do that. Okay, so we need to add some user interface. So we have a dimension shift button in text. So let's do that with the antimatter galaxy. Honestly, I should have shortened these variable names. They're getting kind of irritating to type out now. Okay, and we're just gonna go to uh, wherever our text is. Okay, and the text is equal to uh, antimatter galaxies. And it's just the number here. Uh, let's see. Antimatter galaxies. Oh, okay. I see now. 
And it says requires, yeah. I hate the lowercase. Requires blah. Um, eighth. Gosh, I, I cannot spell eighth. Eighth is spelled very weird. I hope I'm not the only one that actually is weird with eighth. <laughs> I know it's eight and then, and then <laughs> I don't know. Eight is just spelled very weird. <laughs> Dimensions. Okay. And now in here, we're just going to put a variable. We're going to make this, we're going to add a dollar sign so we can put text in here. String interpolation. And this is just data.galaxies. Cool. And the cost is galaxy cost. Yeah. Antimatter dimensions cost. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I hope, I'm pretty sure if someone noticed that, they're probably like, what the hell is he doing? Wow, antimatter dimensions cost, one dollar. Okay, so we have our text here. We also need our button. And basically this is just the same thing as the above. And I could probably make a method out of all of these buttons too just to clean our code up because it's it's getting a little messy. Um, active dim shift. Oh, it's seven. And our cost is replaced with that. Done. We are done with our user interface and our galaxies in general. So let's test. I'm a little scared. And also forgot that we need to show this dimension shift at a certain point, I think. Uh, I'm gonna export and I'm gonna reset real quick. Is it shown at the start? Hello, Did the game freeze. Oh, yeah, I saw it at the start. Okay, cool, so it shows at start, so we don't need to do any fancy stuff with that. Okay, so we need to assign our button into by antimatter galaxy. And we don't need to change our text. We just need to assign them to our uh, tick speed reduction. Oh yeah, before I forget, we wanna do current tick speed. Oh, that's the description, oops. Right there, okay. Our tick speed uh, description is to reduce the tick interval by 11%. Okay, so now our dimensions manager is where we need to drag our new stuff. So we have our button text, which is our, our right here. No, 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 no. It's our name. <laughs> okay, where did it go? Right here. And then we drag our button into the button slot. Okay, let's save it and let's hope the game doesn't go to shit. <laughs> oh, negative 2%. That's not good. <laughs> oh, man. So clearly our equations are... I guess they're right. I don't know what happened with the text. I'm kind of curious to see what happens if I buy it. Oh, we're getting negative. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> our equation is screwed, that's for sure. I don't know what wrong there. I thought it was good. I think it's something to do with this minus here. Well, then. So we are, what we're displaying here is minus 2. Negative tick speed. <laughs> Uh, we're getting negative 2%. So, a good way to find out what you're doing wrong is to take this, take our equation that we developed, type in print, and, oh, no, we don't want to print that. We want to print what our tick speed is. Okay, so it says it's a negative 0 0.02. I don't know how that happened. I don't know where this occurred. <laughs> I think it's something related to this question mark operator in all honesty I feel like we need something around there maybe is that actually it that's weird oh I'm I'm guessing it's because it's it, it's because of this parentheses right here maybe I don't know that's strange I don't know why it's it's doing that well let's see ah oh, negative two percent oh never mind we're good Phew. okay well now we know what to do just put parentheses around question mark operators. I guess that's a rule of thumb now. I don't know. Question mark operators is a little weird. 
when it comes to this because I thought it goes I thought this colon goes all the way to the end or something I don't know I thought I thought that's how it worked <laughs> so I thought that would be valid but I guess not I guess it's the parentheses around that statement it gets cut off there I don't know order of operations and coding is a bit different oh we got a hundred two percent take speed now Well, I, I I can't tell if that looks right. I mean, it's dividing the tick speed. Oh, my dog's barking again. Cool. Well, this is not correct. So, but our, okay. So it said one minus 0 0.89. Okay, so we times that by 100, and it should display. Okay, I think we're multiplying the wrong things. No, we're not. Why does it say 102%? I don't get it. I don't understand why this says... Okay, that's where you do more printing. And this time, I'm going to do it without the 1. Okay. Okay, so let's see. We have 102 and minus. Ah, oh, man. We screwed up again. Well, we had it correct. <laughs> well, I don't know what 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 I what did I do? Like I fixed it and then I screwed it again. Okay, so you see here. Oh, I put the parentheses around the wrong thing. Okay. It looks like this one didn't mind. Oh, I didn't even... Okay. Interesting. I'm just going to keep it like that. Obviously, I could... <laughs> this is bad practice right here. But I want to see that this is 88%. So I'm just going to keep this constant here. I mean, okay. I should get rid of it. Okay, fine. I don't, I don't know. Okay, fine. I, it'll, okay, it will work the same. Okay, it's just look to, it's just weird to look at. I'd rather have readable code. Mm, I'm so tempted to just bring back that one minus zero point eighty two, that eighty eight. Okay. Ah, oh, now it's starting at thirteen percent. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. It's still subtracting. Okay, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I feel like our galaxies are don't like us right now. I'm just going to put this all together in ugly formatting. Yes, I know this is a lot of weird uh I don't know what's going on here. One two. One two. Okay. This might work now. I don't know why it was thirteen percent though. That was weird. Because it displayed one eighty nine, that's eleven percent. So I feel like we have something wrong. Oh, now it says negative. We're just getting better and better. I think it's because we're multiplying by the wrong damn thing again. <laughs> I can't. Okay, I'm. I'm just gonna keep that there. I don't know what I changed, and I don't know why. Why this is just. This is not supposed to happen. Oh, man. 11%, please. 13%. Where are we getting 13% from? I don't get it. Because last time, I remember, we only have zero galaxies, right? Uh, Let's try doing the math ourselves. Okay, so if it's equal to zero, then it's going to be minus that. Done. Simple. We can just get rid of all that. Oh, I see here. It's, oh man. Oh, it's supposed to be adding. I think I see why that's happening. Yeah, it's because we're subtracting from one here. But what about here? Are we doing the same thing here? I don't know. 
So if we do 0 0.80, I think we're that why did that not work there? I think I think I see why. Okay, so now if it's this is default, right? So this will work just fine, which is why our um tick speed upgrades were actually working. But once we get out of that phase, we start doing by uh 0 0.02 like that. Right? So then it starts subtracting. Okay. However, in here we're subtracting from one. So we kind of just have to do um I I again, I don't know why this is um, why it's doing this, but it, it's fine. If I just switch that to a plus, it should work just fine. And we can test this by buying a few uh, galaxies, even if they work, or uh, hopefully they work. Okay, cool, 11%, finally. Man. Does it actually work? Yeah, it does. Nice. Uh, does the Bimax even work? I think the Bimax is still broken. Does the Bimax even do I even have a Bimax? I don't even oh I don't even have a Bimax. Okay, well that's another do. Uh thing I gotta do. Oh. <laughs> okay, I thought it'd go to the top. Bimax. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna add some dimension shifts. Cool, I like how it automatically changes. That's very nice. Very nice of you. And we will give ourselves some free antimatter. Okay, so let's see what happens. This should increase to 12%. Awesome. So now does the tick speed actually work? Oh, yes, it works. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, well, now we can add some dimension shifts. Okay. Okay, so now let's see. This should be 14%. Yes, man. Yes. So glad that works. Cool. And oh, yeah, the Pimax doesn't even work. Okay, cool. So we know this works. Perfect. That's awesome. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on those notifications so you want to get notified for future videos and live streams. Uh, comment all your feedback, questions, compliments, all that good stuff. Share this video and series with anybody else, even the antimatter dimension uh, antimatter dimensions. Whew. That's a lot of words. Community, if you'd like, I'd appreciate it. And maybe give, hopefully give them some attention that I'm doing this fun project, even though I've already kind of talked about it in the Discord. Anyways, anyways, okay, keep that aside. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one, which should be on Bimax and Infinity. So, I'm th yeah, I think I should do the Bimaxes. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Peace.